Hello and welcome students. I hope you are doing fine and being safe during these times. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. I truly hope that you can enjoy it and learn from it. My name is Clarissa and I will teach you about the topic of Costa Rican holidays and celebrations. In this video we will study specifically the topic of holidays and celebrations in our specific region. However, we are only focusing on one celebration of Costa Rica for this video. The agenda for today's video will be a short introduction on the topic of holidays and celebrations of Costa Rica. Then we are going to see the vocabulary needed for better understanding of the lectures and procedures. Then we will cover some of the basic information of a specific celebration of Costa Rica. After that, we will see the WH questions structures to review how to ask questions. Please pay attention to those since the practice will be about them. Then we are going to do a short practice of this explanation of the celebrations of Costa Rica and how to construct the question structures and ask questions. Always remember that there is more review material in the description box below with which you can practice your knowledge on the topic. As a conclusion, we are going to review all the concepts and materials seen in the video and provide you with a quick summary of the topics covered. Firstly, what are celebrations? Are there any celebrations that you have seen in your town? A celebration is a festivity which is usually associated to an event. Usually, the celebration is held for a specific time period and has some important traditions attached to it. For example, the celebration of Holy Week has religious reasons, lasts a week and has traditions like going to church and having parades, as well as preparing as a family specific food and eating it afterwards during the festive days. Now that we know what a celebration is, are there any celebrations that are specific to Costa Rica? Yes, there certainly are celebrations in Costa Rica that are very unique. Now we are going to guess which celebrations we will cover for this video. The following image is related to the celebration. Guess which celebration it is. Now the image shows people wearing specific type of masks, which represent various cultural aspects and can be human, have an animal form, or be fictional characters. Many of you may have guessed by the image that the celebration is the National Day of Traditional Masquerades of Costa Rica. We are just going to focus on this specific celebration of Costa Rica. But before we cover the information about the celebration, we will see the specific vocabulary that will be used for this video's development. The vocabulary for this video is going to be related to the celebration of the National Day of Traditional Masquerades of Costa Rica. The vocabulary for the video is the following. Masquerades Celebrations that have masks and parades. Masks. A covering used for the face to evoke emotions on other people. Celebrations. A social event that celebrated a specific date or occurrence. Colonial. It refers to the establishment of people that lived in villages during time of the Spanish conquistadors, like the colonial times. Indigenous. It refers to the people who originally lived in the place, for example, the various natives of Costa Rica. Adopted. In the context of the following text, adopted means appropriated or mimicked. Cultural significance. It refers to an important cultural aspect and tradition that people would like to preserve. National traditions. It refers to a tradition that is held and celebrated through the, all the country. The whole country participates in it. Now that we have seen the vocabulary for the video, we are going to learn about the National Day of Traditional Masquerades of Costa Rica. Some important data will be displayed. If you want, you can stop the video to write down or read the data. Always remember that there is also a summary of every topic in the description part below. To access it, just click on the link. The masquerades are a tradition that has been ingrained in the culture of Costa Rica. 
is a popular entertainment that usually makes their appearance in celebrations. The practice of masquerades appears to be a result of the influence of not only colonial, but also indigenous festive practices. The first celebration with masks was held in Costa Rica in the first decades of the 1800s. Then later, an artist took interest in creating masks. These masks were made by Rafael Ballarín. His son continued creating masks and by the 1900s, masquerades became a popular entertainment in celebrations. First starting officially in Cartago, the traditions of masquerades was quickly adopted by other towns and villages all across the country. These towns and villages created their own masks with their own cultural significance to it. Nowadays, the celebrations are held in many cities and villages, each in their own fashion and their own specific masks made of clay, paper and many more materials. One of the most special and beautiful celebrations of the nation, Day of Masquerades, is held in Barva, in the province of Aurelia. They have many traditional and antique masks, which are fundamental pieces of the cultural celebrations. Some people really like these celebrations, but there are a few that are scared of these masks. Which group do you belong to? So now that we have learned about the celebrations of the National Day of Traditional Masquerades of Costa Rica, we are going to learn about some of the most used structures to ask questions. Asking questions is a very important and useful aspect of language. We ask questions constantly and it is crucial to know how to do it. There are many ways to ask questions. We are going to focus for this video only on information questions. These are the questions you ask when you want to obtain a certain type of information. The usual structure for these questions are the question word, then the auxiliary, after that the subject and the main verb, and then we add the extra information. The question words vary from the information that you want to obtain. The main ones are who for people, what for action or other details, where for places, when for time, how for the manner, why for a reason. Then the auxiliaries can be do, is, did, will, has, does, and many more. The subject can be he, she, it, them, they, we, and others. The main verb can be any verb that you can use to know something. And some extra information that would be complemented the sentence. It is not necessary for some questions. Some examples are, where do you think is the celebration? When are you going to the masquerade? What are you wearing to the celebration? Some questions don't need some specific parts of it. For example, who is afraid of the masks? What are the masks made of? As you can see, there are some parts of the structure that are either implied or asked by the question. Now that we have seen the vocabulary, know some basic information about the National Day of Masquerades and have seen the structures to ask questions, we are going to do a small practice. For the practice part, we are going to answer some questions about the information previously seen about the masquerade, then we are going to check our knowledge on how to ask WH questions and identify some vocabulary. First, we are going to answer the questions related to the National Day of Masquerades. One. What are masks made of? 2. Who was the person who started doing masks professionally? 3. Which were the two groups that started the masquerades? The answers to the questions are 1. The masks are made of many different materials, like clay and paper. 2. The person who first dedicated his life and did the masks professionally was Rafael Valerín. 3. The groups that originally started the masquerade tradition were the indigenous people and the colonial establishments. Now we are going to practice how to ask questions. The first questions part 
are all over the place. Try to put them in the right place. The questions go as following. Do you is celebration the where question mark masquerade to the going when you are question mark wearing what to the are you celebration question mark stop the video to write the questions down or solve them later with the practice in the description part below the correct order of the questions are 1. Where do you think is the celebration? 2. When are you going to the masquerade? 3. What are you wearing to the celebration? Now we will see a short summary of what we have learned during the video. First, we saw the vocabulary for the information about the masquerades. It was the following. Masquerades Masks Celebrations Colonial Indigenous Adopted Cultural Significance and National Tradition Then we moved on to the information part of the video where we learned about National Day of the Traditional Mask Rates of Costa Rica. Now we will revise the main points about information. Masquerades are an important Costa Rican tradition and has a major cultural, cultural significance to it. The masks are made of many materials like clay and paper. The masquerades have its roots in the colonial and indigenous festivities. The first person to create masks professionally was Rafael Valerín, starting the, the tradition officially in Cartago. Nowadays, the celebration is held all over Costa Rica, each town having their own specific masks and traditions. After that, we covered how to ask questions. The basic structure to ask questions is the following. The question word, then the auxiliary, after that the subject and the main verb, and then we add the extra information. Some examples are, where do you think is a celebration? When are you going to the masquerade? What are you wearing to the celebration? And remember that some questions don't need some specific parts of it, like Who is afraid of the masks? What are the masks made of? Remember that there are some parts of the structures that are either implied or asked by the question. Now please watch the video again if you have any doubts and check out the summaries and practices for self-evaluation in the description box below. With these quizzes, you will be able to practice the previously seen vocabulary and structures to evaluate your knowledge of the topic. As a finishing note, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about holidays and celebrations in our region. Also, I wanted to inform you that the new videos are about different topics will appear soon on this channel, so please be aware of these new uploads so that you can watch them all and practice. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and have a nice rest of your day.